you go to Orlando or you go to Anaheim, what's probably one thing you know you're going to do? If you said Disneyland, you're right. When you are in Seattle, and for anyone that comes to Seattle, one of the things that you have to do is go to the Gates Foundation Visitor Center. It happens to be where I'm standing right now, and if you come to the Storytelling Conference, really hope that you'll come here too, because there's so many amazing, inspirational things that are here that could help you tell better stories about your organization. And I'm actually gonna show you one that I think is probably my most favorite here. I don't want to give everything away about the Visitor Center, so I'm not going to show you everything here today. But I want to tell you one of my favorite parts about the center is that it's very interactive. There's things here that you need to do with your hands to get a real tactile feel towards what Gates Foundation is doing around the world. And I have past experience as an event fundraiser, so let me tell you, anytime you can have your guests or have your donors have a tactile experience with your mission, they're going to ingrain that sort of in memory. So anytime you can do that, it's a huge, huge opportunity for you to tell a story in a way that will stay with them in their body, actually, for a very long time. There's something that I really love about this panel on working to eradicate polio, because you'll see polio is 99% gone from the world. But then you look at this 1%. And that's you as a donor. Doesn't that feel amazing that you could be the final puzzle piece to make this end? So here's your storytelling tip. A lot of times, again, we think of storytelling as written word. Well, I want to show you a different form of storytelling, and that is actually using props to give people an empathetic experience with your cause. This is my favorite part of the Gates Foundation, where you can feel physically what it feels like to carry water, what a lot of people are going through. So I'll show you. I'm going to lift these up, and it's actually going to be really hard because one is like 16 pounds, okay? And if I just stand here and hold this, I'm gonna get really tired. So I'm actually gonna put them right back down. But this is telling you a story. It's telling you a story of what it's like to have to walk three miles with these buckets to get clean water. And that kind of empathetic experience actually ingrains the mission again into your donors' minds. You guys know a lot and you've heard probably about the ALS ice bucket challenge. Well, one of the things that I love that ALS does besides that is they share with their donors tips to make them feel what it's like to have ALS. So they say, you know what, next time you eat dinner, if you have a 10 pound barbell, I want you to lift that barbell up with your fork every single time because that's what it feels like to have ALS. Or I want you to stick two marshmallows in your mouth and try to talk. That's what it feels like to have ALS. So a lot of times you can use props to tell stories. And again, it's that empathetic experience that really gets to donors to understand, oh my gosh, this is what it actually feels like and I wanna do something about it. I really hope that you'll come to the Nonprofit Storytelling Conference November 6th and 7th in Seattle. And while you're here, stay the weekend, visit a lot of our sites, but more importantly, come here and get inspired to tell your stories in a way that people have to touch and feel them. I think you'll be surprised how many ideas you'll get by coming to the Gates Foundation Visitor Center.